Yes, welcome back to this revised edition of MTN MomoPay integration. And in this video, basically, I will talk about three parts. I will show you how you can subscribe to products on MTN MomoPay, and then we shall go on to test the endpoints we shall be using in Postman. And then finally, we shall see how we can use those endpoints in, uh, in our code uh, for our applications. Um, Basically, uh, I want to ask you guys, if you haven't subscribed for me, feel free to uh, give me a subscription. I like the video below, and the more you like it, the more some other one will have access to it, and it will help someone. Yeah, so moving on, as you can see, on, I'm on MTN Momo uh, page, developer page. So here on this page, basically all you need is to create an account. Once you have the account, come to products and here are the products so we have a collection where you can receive mobile money payments uh, uh deposit funds to users remittances all that so you just need to come and then select what you want and then uh, just subscribe to it and once you've subscribed uh, you will just be given a primary you will just be given keys and those are the keys you're supposed to use so i already have some subscriptions so once i come here i can see my keys these are my keys i can show you this uh since it's, i'm just using them for testing so you will have the keys here and these are the keys uh, that you will need basically uh, that's all for this part and um yeah make sure you create an account and then uh, we move on to the next step of using postman so as you can see right here in my postman i have these endpoints uh, this collection here called mtn MomoPay. Uh, this is what you need and the other thing that you need is just environments uh, the environment uh, the sandbox which is a sandbox in this case and this uh, uh, environment comes with already defined variables for you all you need is to just repress what is here so you will just copy your primary key from the, M, uh, uh, the Momo developer page, paste it here. If you want to do this bus paints, you just paste it there. Yeah, so basically that's all you need. All other things will just come de uh, defined for you. The currency for testing has to be euros, you have to know that. And uh, the host, since we are on testing for testing purposes, we just go with Sandbox. I also provide the endpoints uh, for when you want to go live. I uh, already have those. And then the account holder is the, just the phone number. Uh, now, in this case, if you're charging someone, this is where you provide the phone number. Yeah. So, like I said, if you don't need to do all this, you really don't have to. Uh, but I usually like Postman because before you go to the code, you know exactly what you're going to, to do with the code. So the first thing you want to do, if you want to, let's say, uh, we we'll test with collection, but you can go on and check out these other things. But let's say you want to receive money on your, maybe like an e-commerce app, uh, this is it. So first of all, you need to make sure you get an access token, otherwise you won't proceed. So these are the only things you need to have in the header section. And once you have that, the subscription key is the primary key that you obtain from the developer, as you can see it's here, entered by, by our variables there. So once you do send, if everything is okay, then we are supposed to get an access token. Otherwise, if we don't, then we cannot proceed. Perfect. So we have our access token and our 200, okay? So from there, we can proceed with request to pay. Now request to pay, remember this will be a customer like uh, invoking the payment. He wants to buy a product, so he wants to pay for that product. So this is what you will charge from the customer, the money, and you can state here the currency, but, uh, but for testing purposes, it has to be euros. Then uh, the reference ID, uh, this you, you can find this one by your own. Uh, it has to be unique because you also need it here if you want to fetch the data. Uh, that's the same reference ID you need to use. And the party ID is just that uh, MC, MS, uh, uh, basically this is it, this one here, the, the, the ID. 
So that one you don't have to worry about it. Then the party ID is where exactly you pass the phone number of the client. So these are just messages. So and yeah, basically that's it that you need. And then do a request. If everything is perfect, then you should get a 200 uh, perfect. So it is accepted. So that means everything. Uh, if I forget, I'll, we need to look at the headers. This is what we need to pass in the headers, the reference ID, the target environment, which is a sand, uh, sandbox in this case, and then the subscription key, and then our access token that we obtained here. So basically, that's all you need, and everything should be covered. So the Momo host, like I said, this is what you need to replace when you're going live. But for testing purposes, we are using Sandbox. Yeah, briefly, that's all about Postman. Uh, we shall move to the code, and I will show to you how you can implement this in uh, an application. So moving on to our code, as you can see, I have two folders here in this part. Uh, I have my React app, which I created using VT, and then I also have uh, a server. So I will talk about two things, uh, how you can integrate that payment without using a server, and how you can implement uh, the payment if you want to, you to authenticate everything from the server. So, um, yeah, I've been getting some er some some questions that uh, like you're getting the uh, course origin errors and all that and all that. I will, uh, will address them in this part of the video. Yeah, but um, basically for this app, uh, basically I just designed a small thing, as you can see here uh, on the <coughs> on the browser. Uh, this is it. This is just the code of it. Yeah, so there's nothing much, it's just for testing, adding a product to cart, and then, uh, you know, be able to purchase it. So that's the, that's the code, that's the React app. Uh, so let's move back to our code. Now, in our code, I'll first start here in uh, my React app. So once I come here and I've navigate to app.js, as you can see, I just have uh, initial products, uh, the product uh, A and ABC. A, and then I also have a product list. This is just helping me to render those products on the screen. So there is nothing much there. And then here in the cart, this is uh, where actually I have the logic for payment and everything. So if we come here in the cart component, as you can see here, I'm authenticating using the server because my server is literally running on 300 uh, uh, Basically, this is where my server is. Uh, yeah, yeah. So my server is started on this spot right here. Uh, 300.01. But you don't need to worry about this uh, node code. I will show you how you can do the payments without using this uh, node and all that. Yeah, but my uh, that but for now I'm authenticating everything using the server. So inside this cut front end, this is where I am having everything uh, without using the server, just directly hitting the endpoints in my React app. So I installed Axios, and then I had find my hosts. Uh, the token URL and then the request to pay URL. So from here, the first thing I want to do is to get the token. So I just do a post request, pass in the URL, the headers, subscription key is that, uh, that primary key, and then I wait for the token. So once I have the token, I set it in my, using my use state. And before I forget, please guys, whether you're using which language, whether you're using Python, whether you're using C Sharp, it's the same procedure. So don't get, uh, you know, confused with React and all that. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me. Yeah. So as you can see now, we call the function using this. This is if you're coming from a world uh, where you don't know about React, but 
This use effect is basically uh, since it it's, it has an empty uh, array, then that means it will just run immediately when the uh, application loads. So yeah, so when the application loads, then it invokes this function which gets us the token. Now after that, we can invoke our request to pay. Once we have filled in the phone number inside our form, we have entered the phone number, we can invoke this function, we request to pay. So from there, we check if the token is present, if, it, if it's not yet, because that token must be obtained before uh, you do the payment. So now these are just checks. Yeah, even the phone number. Then the rest is just to uh, call this. Uh, this is the body what we want to pass in. We want to pass in the total of the, the items someone is purchasing, the currency, then the external ID. Like I said, this one will come provided for you. Uh, you will check it out in, in Postman environment. Then also the party ID. Here we provide the phone number. In this case, these are testing numbers that are already provided. So we pass here the testing, the, the number. In real world, you pass in a phone number, then the payment message and the note. So after that, we just make a request using Axios and HTTP request, which is a post request, URL, headers, and then we pass our token here. Now, if everything is successful, successful, we should, we're supposed to get this data back, this response. Now we can just cancel out the response and that's all. So I wanted to show you something before I move to the code for the server. As you can see, when I move to my browser, now let me just come to inspect. So like I said, you're supposed to get that token before you proceed with anything. So when I come to the network tab, and then I just want to refresh this page. So as you can see here, uh, I should be having my token right uh, let's see. Mm, yeah, so you can see my token is already here. So if I have the token, then I am able to proceed. Yeah, going back to our code. Yeah, so, I, uh, so since I have the token already locked for me, then I can proceed with the payment. Now, the only caveat with this uh, implementation is that uh, imagine you are on localhost, and then you are <coughs> you are making a request to this HTTPS. So that's why you get a cross origin error. So for you to solve that, you need to create a minimal server, which I have here. This is a server, and then inside my server, basically I have a very very few lines of code. I have the calls which will help me to uh, connect with my front end and allow all routes that are coming in. So I define the same things like I did on the front end and then uh, don't mind about this. This was just for me to test. So the only thing I need to do is to <coughs> uh, pass this. Uh, this is the path that I will hit from the front end and then what I get from uh, the front end is basically this. I will need to get the subscription key. This will be uh, your primary key from the Momo developer page. And then the API key, uh, this one is already provided to, to you on Postman. Uh, but for clarity, this is the API key. Uh, let's see here. So this is actually what you need to pass. So this is it, the authorization, uh, the key. That's, that's the key that you need. So yeah, so basically that's the key that you need. And then um, now after that, as you can see, um, um, I made some typo here. 
So now all we need to do is just do a post request using our token URL and then pass in our subscription key and then pass in that, that authorization uh, key and then we can send back that, that, the, the, the token to the front end. So once we send back the token, then the user can use that token to make another request to pay. So once he hits this route, this is what happens if the token is not present. Otherwise, we get the total and the phone number from the front end, pass here the total, press the cadence, the external ID, all other things like explain, make a request, and then return the response to the user. This is where we pass our token. And that's all, basically. So, yeah, for this uh, illustration, I will share the code on my GitHub. Uh, feel free to check it out if you have any questions, ping me up. Yeah, but that's it for this video. Please subscribe for me, and uh, I will bring to you another video on how you can integrate Airtel payments as well. For now, enjoy. See you.